<clears throat> Alright guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to program Rapid Fire Chip, also known as PIC12F683. Buy both of these things on eBay. I think these are these are cheaper when they come from Hong Kong. They take a long time to get here though. You buy this. I bought this one for... I forgot how much. But just do a quick search on eBay. Find one that looks just like this. Or you can buy any other PIC programmer. As long as it's compatible with Windows 7, if you have Windows 7, which most of us do. Anywho, this right here is a PIC 12F683. As you can see here, you see this lever. You can see the lever that's pin number 1. Go all the way down to pin number 13. You can count it, or you could just go from the back up, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. And as soon as you reach 4, there should be like something like a little stop I don't know you can say like a little barrier if you can see that it's raised you can see that right alright so you put pin number four which if you, if you can see that little ending on the top left corner that's pin number one I right, just go one two three four and put that one on that on pin num pin number five going up from the bottom and and pin number one which is one within it should be in number 13 all right all you guys gotta do is pull the lever down all right now up to the computer all right guys we're on the computer now what you guys are gonna need is um PIC programming software usually um when you buy the pick programmer they supply you with it but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys show you guys something here you guys are also gonna need a hex code which I show you right here also I'll include um, the um, the software I'm using in the description box I'll give you a link and you guys are gonna need this this application here, this application will make you a hex code. Although it might not be as spectacular as you want it to be, it's better than nothing. So this is the driver I'm gonna. It comes with a driver and software. I'm gonna include that link in the description box. Go check that out. Anyway, here's the software to make um the code. It shows you right there the shots per second you want it at and whether you want it on both triggers or not and you see a different language just click on the flag on the bottom and it's to turn to English alright just close that real quick <clears throat> alright now that we're done just go to um the software then you're gonna your chips are already connected. You're gonna scroll down to this list and click the chip model, which is 12F683. And it shows you how to put it on, which, as you can see, it's the fourth leg is five pins from the bottom. Which I'm just gonna select my hex code real quick. Alright, I'm gonna end up reselecting it later. But you wanna read the chip. You wanna verify it. You don't wanna skip any of these steps. Make sure you do all of them. After you verify, you wanna erase the chip. You go to blank, you click erase chip, and you click OK. That's just uh in case there's anything on it, you don't wanna put it on top or anything. Then I'm just gonna reload my hex code alright so after reload it then you click program <clears throat> alright that's it guys um, rate comment subscribe if you haven't like the video add it to your favorites alright guys I can, I can guarantee you there's no there's no there's no tutorial out there like mine 
not nearly as clear. All right, guys. Thanks. Subscribe. Lots of videos coming up. I'm gonna do a video on how to install it. Well, depending on the hex code you choose, there there might be a difference on how to install it. But I might release my own hex code so you guys can have it. Although I cannot release anybody else, which I cannot release anybody else's hex code. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for.